Thanks for joining us here on the Independent Africa TV. For the first time in more than five months, Ethiopia now permits users to access Facebook, Telegram, TikTok, and YouTube. The Ethiopian Orthodox Church and the government had been at odds, which led to the blackout implemented on February 9 of this year. Only users who had access to virtual private network VPN software. Only users who had access to virtual private network software could access the social media platforms which required additional data usage. In February, the Ethiopian Orthodox Church experienced a division when certain archbishops from the Aromia region expressed their intent to create a new synod to conduct services in the Aromo language. This decision led to violent clashes, but the government intervened with a med mediation with a mediation effort to address the issue and restore peace. Despite the lifting of the ban on social media platforms, authorities have not provided any official statement regarding the decision. Regarding the internet outage, the head of Ethio Telecom clarified that the blockage was not implemented by the state-owned company. According to the Internet Society, the outage has had a significant economic impact, costing Ethiopia an estimated $42 million due to the ripple effect on businesses. However, other sources claim that the actual figure might be higher in the northern region of Tigray, where a brutal two-year conflict concluded in November, certain areas are still without internet access. Thank you for your attention. Kindly subscribe now to The Independent Africa on YouTube and visit us on all our socials at The Independent Africa. My name is Amanda Kati.